Welcome back to your final serving of Loose News and Views this Friday afternoon. Now, before we say hello properly to the girls, here's a final opportunity for you to give your purse a pick-me-up with today's competition. In which game show would you take away a consolation prize of a chequebook and pen? Was it A, 15 to 1, B, going for gold, or C, blankety blank? Call 09012 931941. Calls cost £1 from BT landlines. Calls from mobiles and other networks may be higher. Text WIN plus your answer A, B or C to 6337. Text cost £1 plus one standard network rate reply message. Digital satellite viewers can enter by pressing their red button now. You can also enter for free at itv.com. Entrance must be 18 or over and all lines close at 1.20. Good luck with that. Don't forget, all entry lines close at 1.20. And if you do try to enter after this time, you may still be charged. Now, our final guests today have been working together on and off for quite a few years now. Recently, they haven't been together much, as they've all been busy with life, love and solo projects. But now they're back together again as part of something called the Number One Project to record a track that was a big hit for Scylla back in the day. So without further ado, let's say hello to Jenny, Liz and Natasha, also known as Atomic Kitten. <laughs> Lovely to see you. you. Um, we were talking earlier about friendship. Now, you guys have been friends for quite a long time. Yes. Mm -hmm. When you're not actually working as Atomic Kitten, are you on the phone all the time? We do a lot of texting. Yeah. yeah. More texting. We go through phases as well, sometimes. Yeah. I think it's a sign of a real friendship when you cannot speak to each other for weeks and end or even months, yeah. and then when you when you see each other, you just pick up where you left off. I think oh, people who have, have that intense every day, you need to speak to each other. I mean, it's it's just... It's a, just needed, that. Oh, yeah. yeah. It is. You know, so yeah. we can we cannot speak to each other for weeks and end, and then it's just like, hey, what are you doing? And just it's back to normal. And mm. I think with friendship as well, I'd hate to have, like, that kind of friendship where I'm like, oh, I don't want to make the phone call because I haven't spoke to you for ages. Yeah, yeah. 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 And, and there are I know you're going to have are, a cop on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there are people that you like that with, so, but not with these two. Now, we were talking <laughs> about... Um, Pregnancy earlier, and you know, no secret that I'm not particularly interested. But I was a bit worried. <laughs> me and you, I was, <laughs> me and you, yeah, yeah. me and you. I was a bit worried because I wasn't sure whether one of you two had done a, uh, one of those like, you know, naked Demi -demi belly. Balls. Yeah. No. no. You haven't. No. Oh, no. no. You. No. When did no, you? When did you have yours? Four months ago. No. Look at you. What happened? Who took it away? Look at you. Well, he's, he's at home watching that. Oh, I guess. Yeah. Oh. But, um, so, yeah. Do people come around and, you know, like, Sherry and just touch you? I've time got time. a bit of a belly button phobia to begin with, but it really annoyed me, infuriated me. It made me feel a bit sick when I was pregnant. You walk around the supermarket, people, complete strangers, come up to you and just feel the need to grab your stomach. Us? Us? I, know, I don't it's like it. And it. It's just like... Ooh, I just slap everyone's hands. I do, I do actually do that. <laughs> when I, when I, I, you know, like you're with someone pregnant, I do actually say, do you mind, and then ask, because I know for a fact I would definitely be like, Ugh, get oh, off. Do you like it? You like a copper fill? Were you, <laughs> yeah, but I asked, <laughs> you said, Liz, yeah, I do like a copper fill. Were you really into the girls' pregnancies, or did you find it boring? No, I, I, I loved it. I absolutely loved it, but the only you thing is now is that now they've, it, both got, now they've both got uh, little ones. They're literally like, oh, and did you have that thing where, oh, yeah, and they go, <laughs> and I'm like that in the middle going, I don't know what you I mean. I like in our makeup room, actually, sometimes. <laughs> Two girls like, yeah, yeah, Do you talk yeah, about yeah. your babies a lot? Yes. Yeah, especially today, cos, like, my youngest Harry's here, cos he's been a bit poorly, so oh. it's just been all about babies, babies, How do you babies all cope with today? babies while you're on tour and you're working and you... Mind you, have got you your do? gorgeous man upstairs. Blimey, all right, yes. He's a catch, isn't he? <laughs> I did well there. Uh, you did. <laughs> Landed right on yeah, your feet so did, there. So did he, though. He did well as well. Yeah. Yes, he did. Good yes, he did. Good yeah. dancer. See, that's a friend for you. <laughs> Is it difficult working with the babies, though? I mean, do you have somebody to help? Because how do you sing? And no, we just, just leave with the buggy outside. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> somebody else will look after him. With a rock. Back in the <laughs> Now, obviously, a lot of people thought that you, that, that you had reformed, but in fact, you've never actually been a part. You've just been involved in, obviously, yeah. doing babies and mm. things. Yeah. And having solo <laughs> projects, but you've, <laughs> but you've come together to make this single. Can you tell us a little bit about this number one project? Yeah, well, the number one project is basically Liverpool has had the most number one singles out of any city in the whole world. Really? So an album was put together and a Liverpool artist, past and present, were... To celebrate a capital of culture. Yes. Right. And you could basically pick any number one as long as it wasn't your own and come and sing it for this album. And um, loads of different acts have recorded for it. Us, OMD, China Crisis, Elvis Costello, and yeah. all the money raised is going to six different Northwest charities. So oh, fantastic. Yeah. That's very good. Yeah. Number, obviously. Yes. Do you, have you had any feedback from her yet? Oh, she yeah. loves it. Is it? She Does loves she? It. <laughs> 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 don't know, don't care. No, she, 
sure she loves it. She's only human. <laughs> <laughs> and was that the idea, to choose a song recorded by a sort of a Scouse artist, yeah. obviously? Mm. Yeah. We, we wanted to do something by a female artist yeah. as well. And when we looked down the list, you know, there was a lot, you know, of male artists, especially lots from the Beatles. And then we saw Silla's and we thought, that's it. And we didn't want to change it too much, just, like, um, bring it. Modern, modernise, yeah. I tell you, Scylla's brought some fantastic stuff yes. out there, hasn't she? Because yeah. you've covered another one as well, haven't you? Yeah, You're My World. Yeah. Which, you, yes. which, Jane, which Jane had a number one with. I did, yes, <laughs> but there you go. But uh, thank you for putting that in, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, the songs of that era as well are all great songs that you can... They're powerful. You know, big Italian so emotional. Yeah. Yeah. They, so they, emotional. They command a big performance. So when we said, yeah, we're, we're going to do anyone who had a heart, and then we, like, listened to it, and Scylla's, like, totally heartbroken, you know, like going, yeah! <laughs> you know, she's yeah. sobbing as she sings it. But it seems, yeah. it seems it, you would you listen to the song, and because obviously she sings it with so so much ease as well, because she's got an amazing voice. You think it's so easy to sing, don't you? And a lot of um, Abba songs, they say are the same. Actually, oh, girls, really we're going to have to leave it there. Oh, but listen, you're going to sing for us now. So if you'd like are. to make your way we over there for you, for your bit of a song, it's Atomic Kitten, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Well, that just about wraps up another week here on Loose Women. But whilst the girls are getting ready, let me remind you not to forget to join us next week when, amongst others, Mylene Class, Katie Price, a.k.a. Jordan, Penelope Welton, Joe Brand will be dropping in. It's